yes you're welcome to my channel this is your boy jacob now today we are going to talk about countries with the highest salaries for nurses now if you're a registered nurse out there and you really want to get paid well out of your nursing profession you should consider immigrating to one of these countries now in this video i'm going to explain to you each and everything the procedures you need to go through if you want to really want to work one of these countries and i'm going to give you the average salary of a registered nurse in these countries so if you are new to this channel just consider subscribing to my channel click a thumbs up if you enjoy my content and don't hesitate to make your comment right there in the comment section now i'm going to give you uh, these countries from number 10 up to number one in that order so in number 10 we have germany now germany gives uh, registered nurses quite a very good amount of money the average salary of a registered nurse per month in germany is thirty-eight thousand six hundred dollars that's a lot of very good money which not so many countries give to the nurses so what you need to work in germany as a nurse first of all you need to be a registered nurse with some years of experience another thing if you are from out of germany you need to know germany so if you don't know germany you need to learn germany and get at least a score of a b2 or a b1 then after that your documents needs to be need to be assessed so that they are equivalent to the german nurse so after being assessed then sitting exams then from there you will be registered and work as a nurse in germany and in number nine we have denmark denmark is another very good country an average salary of a registered nurse in denmark is forty-two thousand dollars so what you need to work as a registered nurse in denmark first of all you need to learn the danish language yes without uh, the danish language you can't work in denmark so you need to learn the danish language after learning it and passing it you need to sit one of their exams or go through one of their trainings they will assess you the skills and knowledge if everything is okay you on your way to Denmark to work as a registered nurse then in number eight we have Ireland Ireland is another very good country now a salary of a registered nurse in Ireland is forty eight thousand dollars so what do you need to work in Ireland as a nurse so basically you need to be a registered nurse with at least one year of experience well that's not enough in in ireland to work as a nurse you need to apply to to the nursing and midwifery board of ireland you need to apply there so that your papers can be assessed if your papers are assessed and they are equivalent to a nurse in ireland and the second thing you need to do is you need to pass ielts ielts is quite very important if you want to move to any of those countries which speak english so IELTS basically is an international English test where they test you on speaking, reading, writing, listening. Then you need to score at least an overall of seven years to work in Ireland. So after passing your IELTS, you also need to pass a mouth choice question. Uh, those are questions, uh, nursing questions which are in mouth choice. In most cases, they are computer based. So after passing the mouth choice uh, questions, you also need to sit OSPE. OSPE is a practical exam. So after going through all that, you'll be allowed to register on with Ireland and work as a nurse in Ireland. So those are the procedures you need to go through if you are to work as a registered nurse in Ireland. Then in number seven, we have Norway. Now, a registered nurse in Norway is paid fifty thousand. I mean, fifty-one thousand dollars. That's the average salary of a Norwegian nurse per month. Now, to work in Norway as a registered nurse is not simple, especially if you are from uh, outside Norway. So, basically, what you need to do, the most challenging thing, is you need to learn the Norwegian language. Yeah, so that's quite a very big requirement so you need to learn the Norwegian language 
a pass it after learning it, then your papers will need to be assessed by an organization known as SAC. So SAC is a Norwegian registration authority for all health professions. So that organization you send in your papers, they assess your papers. If everything of is okay, uh, you will be allowed to, to register the nurse. But most cases for a nurses don't easily uh, register with their castle. Why? Because they don't lack they lack uh, uh, knowledge of the Norwegian language and they also lack some nursing skills which are comparable to their nurses. So basically they end up sitting a bridge program in one of their universities. Uh, then after passing the Norwegian language test, then they will be allowed to work in Norway. So it's not quite a very uh, easy country to work as a foreign nurse, but you should never stop trying. If you really want to work in Norway, those are the procedures you have to go through. Then in number six, we have Australia. Australia is a very beautiful country. So the average salary of uh, of a registered nurse in Australia is $56,000. So that's quite very good money and very enticing. So what procedure do you need to go through if you are to work in Australia as a registered nurse? So first of all, you need to apply to the Nursing and Midwifery Board of Australia, send in your application uh, and all your documents then after all your documents have to be assessed to see whether you qualify for their program whether your documents are equivalent to a nurse in australia so if everything is okay and you've been assessed the next thing like any other country you need to sit the international english language test and score an overall of seven so after sitting uh, the international english language test you need to also sit some exams the OBA exam, out, Outcome Based Assessment, is an MCQ just like all other countries. So you see the mass choice questions which assess you on the nursing knowledge. After that you sit OSCE which is a practical exam. So if after going through that and you pass successfully, you will be allowed to, uh, to register on their board, get a work visa, then you go and work in Australia as a registered nurse so basically that's the procedure you have to go through then in number five we have canada now canada is also a very good country with a good salary for registered nurses so a registered nurse in canada earns sixty thousand dollars so that's quite very good money per month so what do you need to do if you want to work in Canada as a nurse? So basically, Canada, like USA, each state has its own uh, board of nursing. If the board of nursing in British Columbia is different from Manitoba, so basically, you need to apply to a specific board of nursing. So what the procedure you need to go through is you need to have your documents assessed by nurse. So nurse is a national nursing assessment service. Uh, which assesses documents for all people who want to, all nurses who want to work in Canada. So after your documents have been assessed by nurse, you also need to seek IELTS, that the International English Language Test. So the overall score for IELTS, which are needed uh, in Canada, is seven. You need to score an overall of seven. So if everything is okay and all your documents are okay, you need to sit the NCLEX exam for Canada. So after passing the NCLEX exam, uh, you get a work visa. There are so many visa options for people to work in Canada. There is uh, always a temporary and uh, uh, permanent visa options. So you can choose any, then you will be able to work uh, in Canada as a nurse. Then in number four, we have Virgin Islands. And uh, not so many people have heard on Virgin Islands. So basically, Virgin Islands are a group of islands in the Caribbean. Uh, these include St. Thomas, St. John, uh, Water Island. These, these islands are off the coast of Florida up to South America. There are a number of them there. So a uh, Virgin Island, to work in Virgin Island, you, uh, you get a salary of $70,000. 
as a registered nurse per month. <laughs> so that's quite a very good man. So what you need to work as a registered nurse in Virgin Islands. So basically you need to register with their a board of nursing but that's not all the first thing is just like they have they follow an american system yeah, so basically you need to to have your papers assessed by cgfn which is a, an organization which assesses all papers documents for international registered nurses then after that you need to pass the nclex pass ielts they follow the same us system so if you've done all that, then you'll be able to work in Virgin Island. So it's more easier for US nurses to work in Virgin Island because their qualifications are good. They just need endorsement to the Virgin Island. So that's quite very much easy for them. But if you are not a US nurse and you are just from any other countries, you need to go through the process of going to the US before you go to to the Virgin Islands because the process is the same basically you just need your license to be endorsed to the Virgin Islands so that's how you can work there as a registered now so in number three we have Switzerland uh, Switzerland is one of those countries which pay registered nurses very well. The average salary of a registered nurse in Switzerland is $72,000. So that's quite a very enticing and very good money. But working there as a registered nurse is not very simple because you need to be fluent in either Italian, French, German, or Roman. At least one of those languages. So. You need at least to learn one of those languages to stand the chance of working in Switzerland as a nurse. So after that, you have all your qualifications assessed by the Swiss Red Cross. The Swiss Red Cross is the one which assesses all documents of uh, medical workers who want to work in Switzerland. If everything is okay and you've sat your exams, then you'll be ready to work in Switzerland as a registered nurse. Then in number two, we have the United States of America. Everyone wants to work in the United States of America. Why? Because it's a land of opportunities, not only for nurses, but also for doctors and also other medical professions. So what's the salary of a registered nurse in the United States? A registered nurse in the United States gets 73500 US and dollars. So that's quite very good money. But what do you need to go through if you are to work in the US as a registered nurse? First of all, in the US, each state has its own board of nursing. So you need to apply to a board of nursing. Then you have all your documents assessed by CGFNs. So CGFN is, a, is an organization which assesses papers, uh, documents, uh, qualification for foreign nurses who want to work in the US. So if everything uh, is okay with CGFN, after them sending your papers to the board of nursing you want to work in. Uh, the second thing is you need to sit the, the NCLEX. So NCLEX is a nurse's exam for all nurses who are just qualified. All nurses who are to work in the US need to sit the NCLEX exam. So after sitting the NCLEX exam and passing it, you need to sit IELTS. The scores for IELTS are you need to get at so least, you need at least a seven in speaking and an overall of 6.5 to work in the US as a registered nurse. Their IELTS scores are slightly lower than for other countries like the UK. That's the beauty about them. So after uh, passing your NCLEX, passing your IELTS, you need to get the staffing agency uh, which will sponsor your immigration process. And after that, you are in your way to the US to work as a registered nurse. So that's the procedure you need to follow if you are to work in the United States of America as a registered nurse. So then in number one, we have Luxembourg. Now Luxembourg is the smallest, uh, it's not the smallest, but one of the smallest countries in Western Europe. And it has a very good health system and their economy is a good. That's why they have the highest salary for registered countries 
for registered nurses in the whole world. Luxembourg pays a registered nurse $91,000. There is no country in the whole world which pays registered nurses that amount of money. It's only in Luxembourg. They pay registered nurses $91,000. Dollars. Now that's quite very very good money. But what do you need to do if you want to work in Luxembourg as a registered nurse? Well, it's not very easy uh, because you need to at least know one of their official languages, either Germany, French, or Luxembourgish. So and pass them with a B2. After knowing one of their languages, you need to apply to the Ministry of Higher Education and Research, which will assess your papers. After assessing them, they will give you an exam. Sit the exam, pass it. Uh, if there is any internship program, you do it, then you will be able to work in Luxembourg as a registered nurse. So those are the procedures to, you need to go through if you are to work in this country as a registered nurse. So thank you very much. Those are my uh, 10 best countries which pay registered nurses very well in the whole world.